Good morning, world. It's a brand new day. Uh, I'm feeling really positive today, which is good because there's been a lot of time when I haven't felt positive. So, uh, what's going on now? I've, since my last vid video, I've done a lot of digging. And uh, uh, this island area of, of soil here, near the wood-fired stove, which is behind the bed there, is um, I've been digging it out, digging it out, digging it out, digging it out. So I've managed to uh, clear enough space here to be able to get my bed in diagonally. <coughs> and on top of that, I have this, as I've said before, about the business of not being cooped up anymore because i got the roof up ahead of me or on top. Um, what else? So that's that's looking good, uh, that situation. Um, the uh, the place is still packed, no space to move. But we're we're now at the situation where I'm I'm able to start considering bringing logs in to put the walls up. Uh, little I don't know. I guess I could dig this area out here and put an airframe and a log in there for a start off, and then start chewing my way around the system. Every time an airframe and a log goes in, the place gets more stable and more strong. In the centres here, these have got to be moved along, and I've purchased some uh, f frames, which will, I don't know where I put them. Where did I put those frames? Uh, which hangers, called joist hangers, um, I'll put that in another video. So I'm going to hang these beams here on the joist hangers and that's the end of that central problem. Uh, today the plan is to uh, go off to the woods and saw up some of my wood uh, into appropriate lengths and uh, start planning to bring them back. Uh, I've got a little shopping trolley and I figured out a way that I could use the shopping trolley to support one end of a log strapped on and then sort of wheel it home. Um, but they're going to have to be very small light logs. Okay, let's uh, emerge from the cabin and I'll show you something which I saw just a minute ago. Just day by day, the... it's really great living in nature, you know. Seeing the changes day by day. Okay. The mess. Which will be cleared. It is slowly just going away. Just here. There's a bit of embanked soil here. Which uh, I've been piling out. So that, <coughs> that forms a... A good area to um, dispose of uh, earth material which is just nearby makes the makes the work a lot lot easier, not having to carry it too far. Okay, so the plan is I'm going to have a small door here. I have a window, which uh, I, I reckon I can make as a sort of like jump in kind of, rather like the companion way on a boat. So I think that one's going to go in there. The next one uh, will be going in one of the walls somewhere, possibly here, and another one over there. So as the, as the sun passes round the cabin, light will be passing into it all the time. I am not too sure about putting a skylight in. There are problems with that uh, in terms of leakage, you know, so I'll... I'll hold fire on that one. I'm not saying I won't, and I'm not saying I will. So I'll just give it some thought. Uh, I could actually put a skylight at the high point of the cabin, which is going to be over here, so that water can run off it uh, onto the tarpaulins and drain away. When there's moss and all sorts of stuff on top of this cabin, they will assist in, uh, in drying the place off. So anyway, here we are. At what you would call, I guess, it, if the door is the front, at the front of the cabin. All completely walled in. 
I mean, it is so walled in here, it's actually gone quiet. I'm talking at full voice, and I don't imagine anybody outside would even be able to hear me. Um, it's absorbing sound so much. So there you go. That chimney in the middle, at night, I have the fire on when I'm cooking and stuff. And uh, there's, a, there's a line of smoke comes out of it, visible line of smoke, about three feet long and it just disperses and spreads in with the foliage and stuff I've, I've checked and had a look from a distance you just cannot see it so that's a really great uh, feature that I, I thought that might have been a giveaway but it's not okay so there's the uh, the, the pathway leading to the cabin uh, there's potential for putting a path in the back there there's also a, a shallow here, an area where that uh, water drum is, um, where I can, I don't know, I can utilise it for something in the future, maybe. Probably not. I've probably got to start curtailing my ideas about this place and uh, thinking about the next project, which is the Philippines and Portugal, because soon, uh, 25th, I'm heading off to Portugal, 25th of May, which I think is about 18 days from now. It's the 6th or 7th of the day. I don't monitor what day it is. I, I go to church on a Sunday, so I have to remember what day Sunday is. Other than that, all days are irrelevant to me. Um, it's kind of like having Alzheimer's or something. You think, what day is it, man? And uh, But it's, it's not a question of that. It's simply that... Uh, you just, every day becomes the same as the next. So, lots of surrounding trees and foliage and stuff. It's really, this is really, really nice. I could spend the rest of my life here because it would just get better and better and better. And I would start doing like crafts work and the woodwork and it, it would just, it'd be like Dick Pronicky's cabin except a lot better. Um, it's sacrilege to, to, uh, criticised Dick Pronicky but uh, Dick Pronicky in Alaska he built a similar type of cabin but uh, his was uh, horizontal log and I don't like horizontal log cabins I think he's stu stupid doing that he did it all wrong sorry Mr Pronicky you did it all wrong right here uh, is another <coughs> it's an area where people can see into the the when the when the uh, vegetation clears in the winter time, there is a sort of gap here where you can possibly see in. Uh, there's a line of sight there anyway. So what I thought is I thought if I built up the <coughs> the soil here, it'd provide a slight lift for the vegetation uh, to to form a barrier so that. Um, the chances of somebody be able to, being able to spot anything are pretty minimal. Okay, round the back of the cabin, or the first part of the cabin you went, encounter from the uh, from the pathway in the woodyard area. How about that, man? That is just so cool. Is this the coolest? dugout cabin ever just invisible almost unless you actually come down here and make a solid investigation and soon you'll not even be able to do that you'll just think it's a natural feature so let's have a span around so there's my shower area all getting covered with flower petals i haven't taken this back in, back in this um Mosquito net. I must do that uh, because they are starting to bother me inside the cabin. But to be honest, uh, they're, they're getting less of a problem. I don't know why that is, but they, they are. I'll put a washing line up to, so I can hang washing to dry it, but that'll be, get moved into a more sunny area. This is a quite a cold, dark area. Um, you could build a cabin here, but I wouldn't want to. It'd be really chilly. 
Okay, my wood still available and more wood here and more wood here and soon this should start getting gobbled up and uh, and then into the cabin. I made friends with the guy here. He's he's homeless, and uh, you know I was I was wary of him at first, but uh, he just the minimum amount of contact with him is like kind of kind of nice, you know. To just I guess he's sort of a, a neighbour uh, in a way, um, but uh, you know I don't want to spend too much time with people because I don't want to get I don't want to get pulled into a, a homeless community which is like a genuinely homeless community i'm kind of different i don't i'm not a drug addict or alcoholic or have any kind of mental and social problems i'm simply uh doing this to save a lot of money to further my projects uh i could have rented somewhere and then lived and been really poor and uh, never got my projects off the ground and that's not what i want to do so you'll see when I get to put to, to the Philippines, as I meet my new woman, if she's going to be my new woman, a new family and everything, why I've made all these sacrifices and why, why I'm right and uh, everybody else is wrong. So there you go. What else can I say? That's it for now. Atilago, magita tayo sakana. Jesus be with you.